Hey there, this is your best friend in programming, Cyril Cheat, and today we are going to talk about how to set up PHP debugging in Visual Studio Code. Now, debugging can be very helpful to make your programming life easier, and with it, you can step through the code, you can see what's going on, and check out the values of the variables. And it is very easy using Visual Studio Code and PHP. I've got my debugger set up already, and when I hit the play button, I can then load up my file and if I refresh it, the debugger will be hit and then I can step through the code, I can see what's going on, I can check the values of the variables and fix the code as I need. To set this up for yourself, it's an easy process. The first thing you need is to install XAMPP. Now, Visual Studio Code debugging with PHP works on XAMPP, so you will need the XAMPP server. It's actually a collection of various things. You get Apache server, you get MySQL. These are the two services that I usually need, Apache and MySQL. And I've got a separate installation of MySQL, so I'm not running it yet. You can get XAMPP free online. Just go to google.com and look for XAMPP. It'll take you to the XAMPP website. You can download the version that's right for you and install it. And that will give you access to the XAMPP server. Of course, you will need PHP and PHP is installed alongside XAMPP. So XAMPP actually gives you Apache, MariaDB, PHP, and Perl. Next thing you need to do is download and install Xdebug. And we will be using the wizard for it. I will show you exactly how that works. So what you need to do is go to your browser and then open localhost. That's where the XAMPP server usually is running. And you will see the XAMPP dashboard and there is the link to PHP info over here. Click on it and this is the entire PHP info file that has a lot of information about your PHP installation. Next thing we need to do is type xdebug in Google and it will take you to the xdebug website which is xdebug.org. Click on install and it will have several installation options. We're not going to use any of these, just search for wizard. This is the link to the wizard. Click on it and it'll give you a box where you need to put in some information to find the right xdebug file for you. Now, what you need to do is go back to the PHP info screen, click on view page source, then copy the entire text, bring it back to the wizard, paste it all over here, then analyze your PHP info. And the installation wizard will actually tell you exactly what PHP file you need. And you can see over here, it's got some helpful instructions too. The first thing, download PHP xdebug file. And I've done that. Next, you need to move it to the place where you have the PHP ext folder in XAMPP. This is where XAMPP is installed on my computer, for example. And you will need to rename the file to phpxdebug. And I have done that already. So if you can find it over here, it's right over here. The file has been copied and renamed. So do that on your computer too. Next thing, you need to change something in php.ini inside of the PHP installation. So we'll go up, go up one folder. Then we'll look for php.ini. And what you need to change is three things. You need to change, you need to enter this line, Zend extension xdebug. But apart from that, you also need to set up xdebug correctly. And to do that, you also need to paste this right below your Zend extension equals to xdebug. And that's it for php.ini. You are done over here. The next step is enter the PHP exe path in the settings JSON of Visual Studio. So to do that, what we're gonna do is, we will just copy the path from here like this, and then we're gonna go to Visual Studio, click over here, and type settings.json. When you find it, uh, if you, all right, so before this, you need to do one more step, and that is to go to extensions and look for PHP debug in the extensions list. Now, if you don't have this installed already, you will need to click on it, and then install it. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna mess with it now. But after that, load up the settings.json file, and then you will have a setting for PHP debug executable path, and this is where you need to put in your entire PHP path. So I, I copied over the path from here, paste it like this, and then also write php.exe, because you need the entire executable path and not just the folder name. Of course, you will need to put double slashes over here to make this work. 
save it then restart your apache installation like this and all right it's running now and then when you go to index.php put your breakpoints as usual come back to visual come back to the debugger and you have two more three modes for debugger first is listen to xdebug then you have launch currently open script which will just run this without a browser and then you can also launch the built-in web server now i do like to use apache so what i'm going to do is listen for xdebug and then hit the play button now the debugger is running now all i need to do to actually debug this is go to my page and just refresh so you can see the breakpoint is hit and i can step through the code so this is how easy it is to set up the php debugger in visual studio i hope you do that too and make your programming better this is Cyril Jeet signing off.